Well, one more time, I filled this up with sawdust. Just getting ready to pull the center out. And having that center in uh, makes it so you can compact that sawdust down. Sorry, I got to pull the lid off my juice. Get a little on the stick. Get that lit up. You see how that goes poof. That's why I don't stick my lighter down there. That just happens to be E85. I guess you use alcohol too. Just trying to get rid of that E85 after my experiment. But I've got a new uh, challenge. I'm gonna. I've got my temperature gauge now. I found it finally. But I've got a big coffee vessel. You'll see what that is in a minute. Well, I'm not sure how many gallon this coffee maker is. Actually, it's not a coffee maker. It's a coffee server. I guess they make it and and that to have a hot plate under it to keep it warm. Looks to be three or four gallons though. I'll measure it out as I uh, dump the water in, but I want to set that on the sawdust rocket stove. The idea is to get that amount of water hot. Obviously it'll do it in one burn. And that way you have that much water hot for your day. So we'll get this uh, filled up and I'll let you know how many gallons it was. So we're just getting lit off here. Just wanted to show you. It is climbing. Take a look inside here. Got lots of smoke yet just because we're just getting started. I do have smoke outside in the chimney. So it's it's getting going. So I do have my coffee uh, warmer. It's a drippolator. Measured out it's 48 cups and everybody knows 48 cups is 3 gallons. I have it full right to the top so it's not coming out the little spit spout but it is full and uh, I'm going to check back on the water now and again to see how it's progressing with heat. Obviously at the end of the burn I want to get a good temperature from start to finish but see what the end result of the temperature is. So we'll just check temperatures here and the black can is in the 78 the antenna and might be hitting the uh, water and off the back chamber you see the chimney is very I'll put the laser on see the chimney stays very cool and then on top I've got that big bucket of three gallons of water on there so that's gonna take a lot of heat warm all that up. I just wanted you to see that this is just start up temperature by the way. But we do stay cool on the stack. Yes that's uh, lighting off well there. That's uh, the smoke as it's getting started. After that gets good and hot, all that smoke will be gone. But just wanted you to know, it does smoke, especially when it gets going. It's only been going about 15 minutes, maybe. We got a good draft, though. 
Okay, we'll start with the dot on the chimney. Yeah, 64 degrees. We'll travel down it here. Yeah, right there we're 100 degrees. Maybe. And on down onto the black, it gets to 100. And down on the second collector, 135. And then on the barrel itself, on the red, about 200 degrees. And as we go up, 250. And then onto the plate, that's pretty much covered by this big uh, three gallon pot of water. It's like 190 degrees there. And then on the pot itself, or a cool 63 degrees, 62. Obviously, it's going to take a while to heat that up. We're about a half hour into it, trying to heat up that three gallons of uh, water. So one load of sawdust. Going to heat that up to how hot? We'll see. Now here we are at a couple of hours. And like about 180 right at the edge here. We'll check this uh, chimney again. See the red dot. 63 degrees, 65, 68, 90, 115. On down, we're 120 degrees on the stack, on that second chamber, 130. That's only 130 degrees. And on my flame, I'm radiating about 160 degrees, 190, right near the top. Let's see where our water is. Yeah, it looks like it's about... 70 some degrees on the outside. See what we got on the inside. So, on the inside, we got bubbles. We're about 120 degrees. That's plenty enough for wash water. We got bubbles all around it. Yeah, we're definitely definitely warm. I'm touching the side of it here. It's definitely hot. It doesn't uh, do a good job of measuring water temperature. I'll have to I'll have to find something to measure the temperature. But I'm uh, I'm excited. That's going to that's going that 3 gallons is going to work out well. I'll uh, go ahead and move that off and look at the fire. I have the now. water sitting up here on the desk right now. Oh yeah, look at that. We are cooking. Like I say, this was a couple hours. So yes, sir. That is working very well. I'll go ahead and put that water back on. And before I do that, I wanted to get a temperature reading kind of in the center. Obviously, there's a dot there. Obviously, because I, that water sits on there, that cools cools that down terribly. And we're about three now two ninety three hundred. It does look like it's climbing now that that water is off of it. But I'll go ahead and get that water back on because that's what the purpose was. Is I wanted to see what the temperature of that three gallons of water would get to on one load of sawdust. Well, I do still have smoke coming from that. I think I got a little bit of uh, pine mixed in that. So obviously the resins and whatnot give you more smoke than the hardwoods do. But it is working well. I'm two hours into the burn and. 
My uh, water temperature is up to uh, about 120, 130, something like that. Well, it's well on its way. I mean, uh, that's plenty hot enough for cleaning, but got about two more hours on it. We'll see what the temperature gets up now, to. Here we are going on a little over three hours. I'm going to show you what the, you can see the red dot maybe. There you go. I'm 180, 87 degrees on the burner underneath the pot. And then down off the side. Looks like 200 degrees on the barrel. And then that back exhaust chamber, second chamber, 120. And as we climb, I gotta keep up with the dot. Looks like about ninety hundred degrees at the top of that, and then going on to the galvanized drops down to <coughs> in the sixties, fifties. I don't know if that's uh, an accurate temperature. Let me do it the Eh, it's uh, definitely more than 60-some degrees, but it's not hot, hot. And down inside, we're definitely steaming water. I have to get the thermometer out here and check the temperature of that water. That laser isn't very good for that. But we are getting the uh, water hot. I'll go ahead and move that again and <coughs> look at the fire. Okay, we've got that moved off and over the side here. Oh, yeah. We've got about an hour more heat going to come out of there. That's It's on the cooling down stage right now. I don't have that flame right to the center. Let me get a dot on there so you can see it. So we're in the 200 range now, so it is on the downside of the burn. Like I say, I've got about an hour of heating yet. So that water might be about as hot as it's going to get now. But it does uh, show that it'll do three gallons, and that's definitely hotter than wash water, I'm sure. But I'll get my thermos thermometer and then we'll take a sample and test oh, it. Oh, there you go. It's 165 maybe. And that's with my long stemmed, uh, that's for the, uh, oh, the uh, corn cooker. I should have had that in there earlier, I guess. Well, we can always do this again. I started with uh, well water, which is probably about 45 degrees, maybe. 42 degrees, I don't know. Fairly cool. Well, it's been another 45 minutes. And I'm up to uh, 175. So it looks like uh, about the three and a half hour mark. I'm 145 from well water temperature. Not bad. We'll look inside. So what have we got inside for a fire yet? Oh yeah, we're pretty much burnt down. We got that uh, ring around the edge yet. Probably got a good half hour. That was working great. Got the uh, well water temperature up to 175 degrees. That's uh, well over uh, wash water temperature.